Hey, we're with Albion Theater where we're getting ready for Mind Game. Big show that's going to be starting on the 20th. And Robert Ashton joining me this morning, founder and artistic director. Thank you so much for having us in again. Yes, thank you for being here. Well, you know, I'm kind of like a, a, a serial uh, actor in the <laughs> sense that I, yeah. I keep coming and trying out for these shows and I keep getting rejected. Well, I don't take it as rejection, you know, or rather, if you want to be an actor, you have to live with rejection. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. All right, so this show, Mind Game, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, it sounds like I'm perfect for, yeah. <laughs> uh, give me a little brief description of this show. Okay, well, the show is set in a place called Fairfields, which is an experimental hospital uh, in, in the countryside in England for the criminally insane, where serial killers primarily are, are, are housed. Um, and the, the person that runs the establishment uh, is very interested in, in doing a thing called psychodrama, which is uh, where you engage uh, the, well, often not the criminally insane, but the, the people who have mental health problems um, with play, role playing to try and help, help them out of things. So uh, a writer comes to Fairfield. Uh, who's written a couple of true crime things about serial killers, including a guy called uh, Andrei Chikatilo, who was a U an actual Ukrainian-Russian uh, mass murderer, killed over 50 people before they caught oh, wow. him. So, so I'm playing the role of the writer. You're playing the role of the writer, and you've come to interview a serial killer who is there, a famous serial killer who is in this institution. And okay. that's, what you, that's what you want to do. All right, all right, so Charles Winning here, he is one of the uh, actors in the show, and he, so he's, he's the doctor. He's the doctor. He's, he runs this Fairfields institution. All right, so right. let me right. get in character. Are you get in character? <laughs> okay. Hello, Hello, doctor. Hello. Yes, yeah, so, so I, I, I would like to know more about the criminally insane. Well, the best way to get the feel for being a criminally insane is to fully embra embrace being criminally insane. Oh, I'm in. So, just put your arms in there. Okay. It goes on just like this. All right. Now, what do you think it would say about yourself wearing one of these? It would say that I'm a criminally insane oh. threat to others, right? Well, that you were considered insane. That's a, that's a quite separate thing. Well, the man who put it on you might believe that you were, in fact, insane. But it might cross your mind. It might occur to you that it was actually the opposite that were true. Yeah, how does so, that feel? I may not be the one that's insane at all. This is true. This is very true. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, everything's not what it appears, is what I'm assuming here. This is exactly what the show is about. Everything is, is not what it appears. Um, and, you know, we, because it's a surprise ending, we don't want to give the ending away as to what happens in here. But it, it is about that. It explores the mind of serial killers and, and uh, psychiatric treatments. Um, but it is, a, it is quite a thriller and a shocker. There are some very shocking things happen during the show. All right, you got to come check it out. It is Mind Game right here in the Black Box Theater. Great place to see a show. Come check it out. It's Albion Theater's Mind Game. And uh, I'll just keep this on for a while. So. Yeah, it, it, it suits you. <laughs> Absolutely suits me.